Hi there, Year 10. I hope you're well. I hope you're all working hard. Uh, we're really looking forward to having you back in school next week. Um, but it's my job today just to take you through a few of the things that are going to be different, a few of the inevitable changes because of COVID-19. Um, and we'll start outside the front of the school before you come in. Thank you. Okay, so when you first arrive in school, you'll notice outside the A block and the front of the school, there'll be a series of cones laid two metres apart. Um, and it'll be up to you to make sure that you go to one set of those cones, one behind the other, making sure that you're always two metres socially distanced from any other students that are here on the morning. So as you approach the front line of the cones, uh, and you're the per next person to actually come into the main school, you'll notice as you come towards reception, you'll see a sign on the front door, and the sign says only one person in at a time to reception. Please wait outside until it is safe for you to enter at a two metre distant, distance from others. And a member of staff will invite you to come through into reception at that point. As you come into reception, you'll notice by the window there's a series of hand sanitizers and you'll be asked to make sure that you sanitize your hands as you come through, making sure that you really clean your hands efficiently and properly through the middle fingers, on the back of the hand and the front of the hands all the way through before you come through into the main school. Once you've come through reception and sanitized your hands, you'll come into the main school hall where all your lessons will be taking place. You'll be allocated a desk by a member of staff and that desk will remain your desk throughout all your lessons in school. You'll also be given new workbooks, whatever the subject is, and those books will remain in school. Any stationery that is used must be your own stationery that you bring with you and then take away with you at the end of the lesson sessions. If you do need a toilet break at any point, you'll notice that there's a one-way system sign route for you to follow. Only one pupil will be able to go to the toilet at a time and if you do need to go, you'll come out of the front of the hall by the reception and follow the one-way route to the designated toilet. Uh, you'll see some signs in the toilets and they're actually really important signs and it's really, really important that you follow those to the absolute letter. Um, it says action is needed, please wash your, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds but also how you wash your hands is important palm to palm, the backs of the hands, in between the fingers, the back of the fingers, the thumbs and the tips of the fingers. And to make sure that you also dry your hands properly afterwards as well. So once you leave the toilet, again, you'll follow the one-way system. You'll come back out through the quad area and you'll follow round to the back of the hall and enter back into the hall from those doors. Okay, once you come out for break time, you'll be asked to use the area of the picnic area and this grass area around here. And it's really important that you stick to that area. You can't go off and use the other, other areas of the school field. You must remain in this area and unfortunately no ball games either. It's also really important to point out that you must remain two metres socially distanced from your friends at all times. We appreciate that you've probably not seen them in a long time and you're looking forward to socialising and spending that time with them, but it must be said that you have to remain two metres socially distanced during that time. When you have finished break, you'll be asked to go back into the main hall and again you'll be asked to use hand sanitizer to make sure that you use it correctly as I showed you earlier in the video. Okay, when you leave at the end of the day, you will again be asked to wash your hands. And the reason we're having a slightly shorter day is to cut the risk of spreading the infection. When you do come into school, you will be asked to wear school uniform, but this does not include blazers or wearing any kind of hoodie, um, because what we're recommending is that you wash your clothes in the evenings, um, and therefore, through not having a blazer or hoodie, there's less to wash. Okay, just a few things to finish off um, before the end of the video. First of all, just want to talk to you a little bit about behaviour. We know that you're all fantastic generally um, and we're really proud of you as our students, but it must be pointed out that behaviour and expectations of behaviour will be extremely high. Um, we can't have students that are not socially distancing and we need everyone to follow the instructions that I've already laid out previously in the video. 
following one-way systems, making sure that we're socially distanced, making sure that we're using hand sanitizer correctly, uh, we, making sure that we're using the instructions that are put for you in the toilets, um, and making sure we're all looking after each other's well-being during what is a difficult and challenging time. And then finally, we completely appreciate that during the course of the time you've been off school, which is a significant time now um, during this COVID-19 pan pandemic, that some of you may have experienced um, times where you've not felt yourselves, where you've felt a little bit down. Um, and I think that's perfectly normal um, response. And because of that, if you feel that you wish you would like to talk to Miss Goodall at any point, um, about your well-being or about any issues at all, you will be given the opportunity um, and Miss Goodall herself will come and speak to you when you're in as a group and you will be given the opportunity to um, put your name down to see her at some point. Um, anyway, I really look forward to seeing you all. Um, I'm sure you're looking forward to coming back. We're really looking forward to having you back um, and we shall see you next week. <laughs>